So you're gonna get a yellowish, the nice dark rums along with the Vita Coco and the passion fruit. Gives you a yellow, yellowy like color. Whoa, that was neat. Not intended. And of course, you could put, you reuse this thing. So this isn't gonna hold a lot of liquid, so you just keep your shaker there, like you do at the restaurants, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the steak restaurants? Yeah. Pour it right over the ice. Fill it right up to the top. Can't really see what it looks like though. You, yeah, you can't. Well, you could see it was in there, it was yellow. I could show you what it looks like. It looks like OJ. Here. Can look at it right there. Looks like the like the Vita Coco thing. And there you go. Ooh, it's actually getting cold. <laughs> so you've got a very authentic style drink. If you're looking for a party, you can get these. I think they're gonna go for a couple bucks usually at the grocery store. And it, I think more than the cost is the the work. If you have something that can easily shear off one of these nuts, then it won't be a big deal. You could cut like six of these if you have a couple people over, kind of recycle them. We left this in the refrigerator for a couple days, so, and it's still in good condition. Very much, you're getting that natural, very super fresh passion fruit. You're not getting, oh, that's a passion fruit flavor, very well done. No, tastes like a passion fruit without all the seeds and, and funniness that you can crunch on, because we eat these things raw. As opposed to cooking them, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> we just scoop them and the kids eat them. You get a nice level coconut, not super sweet coconut, very authentic, even though it is really a coconut rum. You, it, you feel like it's coming from the sides of the, of the bowl, but it's not. And the dark rum brings it up to the maturity level where you're getting a little bit of the, the aged alcohol taste. And then the sweetness, you don't notice a simple syrup, but you do when you leave it out. So make them side by side and you can, you'll be able to tell the difference. That is the Common Man's Passionate Coconut, complete with coconut garnish. I mean, I went all out on this drink. Coconut garnish? That is, yes, the whole thing. The whole garnish. thing's a garnish. And it's very tasty. Very fruity. I, I liken it to a tropical drink, something you would probably get at a tiki bar. Right? You never been to a tiki bar. Doesn't matter. You've been to one now. Right. I'm your host, Derek Schilmer. What? We're going to open our own tiki bar. We are. We're opening our own tiki <laughs> bar in downtown Nashville. <laughs> I don't really know. Where, we're just, I'm just rolling with it. We're not opening anything. But if I could open a tiki bar, I think it would be a good time. That would be know. a cool, except for the wintertime. That's that the problem. Tough. I'm just thinking <laughs> it wouldn't be good all year round. Well, Maybe. yeah, you just have to make the inside. To, anyways, we're waiting. No, outside. what you do is you just do a ski mart. Inside, they just sell skis, and then in the summertime, they de open up. The <laughs> oh, yeah. Bar. That's a good idea. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm your host, Eric Schomer for EverydayDrinkers.tv, the Common Man Cocktails, Common Man's Passionate Coconut. We're teaching you how to drink.